good morning to everyone good morning it's my pleasure to be here to address the indo japan business forum meeting today i am honored and privileged to be with all of you to speak about the vibrant and strong ties between our two countries india japan relationship has transformed into a partnership of great substance and purpose to achieve more significant economic transformation india encourages fdi investment from japanese companies in all sectors india is also one of the most attractive investment destinations for japanese companies for us in karnataka Japan is an important partner. Ladies and gentlemen, Karnataka is one of the biggest states in southern India and is known for IT ITA services, machine tooling, manufacturing, aerospace, biotechnology and engineering design. Karnataka is the at the forefront of attracting FDI into the country. The recent 2019 Niti Aayog 2019 Innovation Index has placed the Karnataka at the top. There has been possible due to the availability of quality human resources, reputed higher education institutions, <coughs> and a big trust <coughs> on research and development. This is also assisted and supported by a proactive administration and continuous investment climate Karnataka has set up a Japanese industrial township at Vasanta Narasapura near Tumkur town <coughs> 519 acres has been developed and made ready with infrastructure facilities such as roads power and water supply <coughs> Karnataka has significant potential in the field of electronic manufacturing sector and offers many incentives for investors including 25% capital investment subsidy on land to boost investments in the sector a joint statement on japan india startup initiatives was signed to promote startups in the state a startup hub was established in bangalore by jetro to identify selected indian startups for the japanese market the state has taken strong policy measure to promote the nascent startup industry ecosystem and has passed a landmark legislation creating Karnataka Innovation Authority in November 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, my government has taken several steps to ensure investors find it easy to be business in Karnataka. We have supplied processes set up a single window for investors and engaged in regular discussion with the industry to create a stable policy driven environment for the last few months labor laws have been simplified as these measures for long overdue to attract investment to the state keeping the investor center approach our government has launched the new industrial policy 2025 to build a prosperous Karnataka and create employment opportunities for the youth. The industrial policy will introduce path-breaking challenges like production linked incentives. I sincerely believe that the changes we are bringing about and your support will help Karnataka build a robust industrialized economy that will be a benchmark for other states in the country. I thank the Indian Chamber of Commerce for allowing me to address this forum 
and look forward to working with you thank you thank you very much